I just got back from the American Girl store after buying the three Disney princess dolls. Let's open them up. All right, hi you guys, it's me Chris. Welcome back to the doll studio. So as you guys can see from the bags that I just put on the floor, I just got back from the American Girl store in New York City. And let me tell you guys what a trek, what a trip, what a journey that that was to get these three Disney princess dolls. These dolls, you guys, okay? For some reason, the New York store only has one display of these dolls. And when I tell you people were like on top of each other trying to grab these dolls when the store opened, like, yeah, these dolls for sure, if you're thinking about getting them, I would not wait because people are going to go crazy for these dolls. They are not $300 each. They are $125 each. And so I think that these dolls are going to be a big hit and they will be back ordered extremely fast because I have not seen that much commotion since like Leah back in the day when she first arrived on the scene. So without further ado, let's just get started because I'm really excited. I cannot wait to open up these dolls. They did sell out of dolls when I left the store. They told me that the dolls that they had on the floor were the only ones that they had left in store. So trust and believe me when I say like I was fairly upset for anyone that was going to be trekking all the way to New York and finding out that they only had like one or two Tiana's to pick from and that was when I like was about to leave they said that they were not gonna get any more shipments until next week so like I don't know how the other stores are but it was like a massacre today here at the New York store so I did get Cinderella I got Miss Tiana and then last but not least I got my queen my princess my girly pop this is Ariel this is Ariel. She is my favorite Disney princess. I am so excited to open her up. Okay, you guys like first and foremost the box looks like this so pretty okay this is what the box looks like on the back it does say princess ariel right there it has a picture of her in the front i'm thinking that her bangs are like essentially like luciana's bangs because it is giving that especially in person i was like these are luciana's bangs look at the outfit you guys isn't this absolutely stunning i'm looking at her in the viewfinder right now and honestly in person the material on this i'm like fairly happy with this the price jump is not that massive from 115 to 125 these dolls are like not that expensive in comparison to just a regular american girl doll they don't come with a book but honestly that's a-okay with me because you are getting an extremely gorgeous doll if you are getting ariel go in store if you can have a friend do it do what you can because these dolls were the ones that had the absolute worst defects every single ariel doll that i came into contact with was just looking at me crazy guys like looking at me sideways looking at me insane scissors because i don't want to hurt myself right now this is like really nice this is new it's like a plastic on the arms. That's weird. Okay. I have to like cut this out because I don't want to again damage her. Okay. There's that one. And then here is this one. Here's what she looks like. I'm so happy that she comes with this little shell necklace. I mean, look at her. Guys, the quality of this outfit is actually low key like insane. Like I'm glad, like if this was a collector doll with the Swarovski elements, this would have been stunning. But I am like happy that she's not. She has purple shoes right there. Her tail, the top. It's all very stiff, which I'm not mad at personally. I think that that actually like makes it very like luxurious feeling. There's a lot of glitter on her. It is coming off a little bit, but I wouldn't be that worried about it if you're displaying these dolls. She comes with a little gold necklace right there and she comes with a little flower clip, kind of like what Kanani had back in the day. And then she has fire engine red hair. She does have Kit's eyes looking at her. She is stunning. So let us, like I said before, just gonna take this off. There were a lot of not so pretty like aerials so if you got one online i'm hoping that yours came not defected i hate when they put the accessories already in the hair because then it's like the accessory doesn't want to like let go oh that's why because there's an elastic around her hair do not pull at the clip because there's an entire like elastic holding it into her hair oh you guys wow now that i'm like doing my first initial brush her hair is stunning oh my god her bangs are gonna need like a lot of water and a lot of fixing she's definitely got the like luciana bayang going on you're definitely gonna want to have to play around with these bangs because they are intense here i am just like trying to mess around with them a little bit so that way it doesn't look that crazy she's stunning i'm definitely gonna have to go in and like recurl her hair but look at that hair isn't that everything stunning 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 these dolls are gorgeous like this doll is exquisite and let's just put this back in your hair y'all ariel as my favorite disney princess this is like 
perfect. I know that people were mad about the fact that it wasn't like the Mary Grace mold, but to be completely honest, I'm kind of happy that they didn't do it because I feel like every time that someone does an Ariel doll, they always use the Mary Grace mold. And for me, for some reason, that mold just doesn't make sense in my mind. I love Ariel, you guys, you don't even know. I'm gonna set you aside somewhere. All right, next doll. Tiana was the one that I actually had the hardest time looking for a perfect one. I forgot that when I got Claudie, she was kind of a really like hard doll to find a good one of because her eyes are kind of so small that if you don't get the right alignment, her eyes can look uneven. So when I, this is like, she, ah, uh, I'm not even gonna start. It's so, where are her shoes, girl? Are your shoes here, queen? Oh, they're on the side. I was like, what is happening right now? So basically what happened in store was I just kept looking at different ones, trying to find like a really, really good one. And there were like none. And then finally they brought out a last inventory stock of them, like the last set of them. And that's when I found Miss Girl over here. It feels a little papery. It feels a little stiff, but like, oh, I'm living. I don't know why her shoes aren't on. They all have the stars on their feet, by the way, but look at that. The way it just like literally like crinkles and like opens up, it feels like a really intense form of like tissue paper, but honestly like good for them. Cause like that kind of like jets out and you don't need like anything underneath it to like make it look good. Her hair up here has a hairnet on it and she's just rocking a ponytail. Her curls are looser than Miss Claudie's, but if you guys can see here, she has little tendrils up here. This is Claudie. I hate to be the one to burst anyone's bubble, but like, in my opinion, like this is Claudie with a looser wig. She's gorgeous. She's stunning. She has Tenny's eyes. She has like the light brown eyes. The dress is gorgeous. Again, like, wow. I actually have to give American Girl credit where credit is due because these dolls are stunning. She comes with a necklace. Woo. Stay, girl. Anyway, the headband is on the side. So I'm gonna cut that out. And then her shoes, for some reason, are like not part of the team when you open her up. These are the shoes. They are just green. I'm gonna put these on her. I don't know why they weren't on her to begin with. That was like weird. Maybe they stain, but this is like such a like vibrant, like lime color. I would be confused as to why they stain. Or maybe they just give her a little bit of height and she kind of can't fit in the box. Stunning, you guys. She's stunning, gorgeous. The shoes like really let them stand on their own. And usually American Girl dolls are like the worst when it comes to standing. We'll let it just sit right there. I am so far so happy with these dolls. This Tiana doll is stunning and I could not be happier with her. She is literally gorgeous. The dress, I'm not mad at it. The glitter and everything, the, like the detailing on this, like good for American girl. Like this is the kind of quality I'm expecting. I like this. I like the stiffness of this because it allows for her to like just have her dress puffed up. I don't know how other people are gonna feel about it. I don't know if people are gonna think that this is like a cheap quality fabric or whatever, but like for me, I'm fairly happy with this because it allows her to be displayed and look gorgeous. Between her and Claudie, Claudie has a darker skin tone in my opinion. And Claudie, her eyebrows are different, but for the most part, I feel like they are essentially the exact same doll. So that may change in an opinions video later on, but as of right now, first impressions, she is Claudie. Great. This doll, okay? I am kind of like confused as to why they did two Josefina molds back to back because Belle was a Josefina mold and now they're using it for Cinderella. I feel like we could have had a Joss mold for this. I feel like no one was talking about the fact that this doll, does this doll have her ears pierced? Do they all have their ears pierced? Cinderella has her ears pierced for some reason. I, that's so why her of all the dolls. She's got her ears pierced. I'm just gonna take her out of here as nicely and as fast as I possibly can, okay? But yeah, I was hoping for Sleeping Beauty. I did predict Cinderella on my TikTok because I was like, it's probably gonna be Cinderella because she's a fan favorite and like everyone loses their mind for Cinderella. She's not my personal favorite. My personal favorite is the mermaid. <laughs> Again, stiff dress allows for this to just like be open. She's gonna like fly somewhere. Her headband's up there. I don't really care enough to like go searching for it. Now these dolls, this doll specifically, I'm like trying to figure out where your hairnet is, queen. Oh, it's under your bayang. Her hairnet is under her bang. And in pictures, you actually can see that her hair does get taken down. It's like rolled all the way up into like itself up there. Everything is held up kind of the way that Bella's hair was held up in the sense that like it's, a lot of stuff being sewn into her wig. So I'm not gonna take this down quite yet, but that is what it looks like. And then there's actually a protective over her neck because of her little, is this plastic? Sorry, hold on. There was a plastic piece around her neck 
but I'm not necessarily mad at it because it does protect from the choker staining your doll's neck. And if these dolls are gonna obviously be in storage for a hot minute, then this is like fine and dandy. The bangs, now that they're out, I'm not necessarily mad at them. You can kind of just play with them as you so want to. I'm assuming that these are kind of like gonna be the same bangs that the Barbie comes with when she comes out. They're soft, they're not hard. The eyes are a deep blue, just like Ariel's. They are Kit's eyes. The dress is gorgeous. The shoes, okay, the glass slippers look like that. Isn't that everything? They're just like plastic with like glitter and they show her feet. I'm so happy with these Disney princess dolls. Let me get these together. That is all three of them. I'm gonna be so fairly honest, now seeing these dolls, I'm hoping that American Girl does this like yearly. From my understanding, Frozen is coming later in the year and that's like a little insane to me. I'm pretty sure those dolls are gonna be collector dolls because like they know that people will absolutely spend $300 on Elsa and Anna. So that makes sense to me. Between the three of these, I'm gonna have to say Ariel is still my favorite. The other two are exquisite. I love them. If you're thinking about getting them, get them as soon as possible because these dolls, I know for a fact, are going to be back ordered with the way that I saw people rushing in store to get them. So I don't know, that may not be the case, but I would say to be safe, go out and get them. I love them. If you can go to the store, they have defects and it allows for you to pick one out. But for the most part, I'm extremely happy with all of them. I hope that American Girl does this in the future because quite frankly, now that I have these dolls in my possession, if they would have thrown Swarovski crystals on these dolls, they would have been $300. And now I'm kind of questioning the collector dolls because I'm like, we went from 125 to 300 just with a couple of, you know, crystals. It doesn't make any sense to me. I am a huge fan of these dolls. I love them. And I hope you guys run out and get them because they are everything, you guys. They even all have like necklaces. I just realized that right now. Yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous gowns. Gorgeous, gorgeous dolls, okay? For those of you guys wondering, I am gonna buy the other outfits. So don't worry, that will be an entirely separate video coming out probably around like next week or the following week. I am gonna post an Honest Thoughts video and refilm because I did have an Honest Thoughts video about them. But now I'm gonna do one about everything because because there has been a lot releasing in the past couple of days. I just got seven new American Girl dolls in the span of two weeks, so I'm gonna take a hot break from buying dolls for a hot second. But yeah, these are the girlies. These are the princesses. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think is your favorite, but I'm obsessed with them. I highly recommend all three of them already. And yeah, all right, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name is Chris. You guys can follow me on my Instagram, which is at the doll studio by Chris. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel, like this video, comment down below, and let me know what you guys think of the Disney princess dolls. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.